Hi everyone, it's Salia from Hustle Season and welcome back to another episode of my Versus Reading Vlog. Today specifically, I'm going to be looking at Erased versus Astro Lost in Space. So I have to take my dad right now to go get some blood work done. While he's getting that done, I'm going to try to read both of these. I'll cue a couple shots of me reading at the blood bank and then I'll be back to tell you which is better. <laughs> I'll start with Astra because I feel like more people know this one. The premise, if you don't know, is a bunch of teenagers who go on a field trip into outer space but then get lost. Essentially, it's just watching like team dynamics and survival tactics and how this group comes together. There's about nine people. One of them's a 10-year-old, but the rest of them are high schoolers. In general, I really liked Astra. The plot is fairly nonsensical, but the characters really do drive the story forward. It's their interactions and them, like I said, going through those group dynamics that really makes you interested and invested in the story. The characters are fairly interesting. You don't get to see all of them in the first one, but I suspect that throughout the rest of the series you'll get to know all of them quite in depth. This girl who's kind of like a manic pixie girlfriend type, she acts like she's always high on something and just wants everyone to be friends. This guy is like the typical Naruto type guy who just wants to accomplish things. He wants to be the leader. He's like overconfident. In my opinion, they're all fairly stock characters, but they have a bit of backstory to beef themselves up. I think that a lot of people will like it just because it has a very light tone. It's funny, it's cute, the artwork is fairly pleasant to look at. My biggest issue with it was that there were four girls, five guys out of this group of nine. One of the girls was a 10 year old, so I'll let her be. But of the other three female characters, not a single one ultimately takes a leadership position. And not only that, but it is the three tallest most handsomest men of the group who become the leaders of the ship. I know a lot of people won't give a shit about that, but as someone who deals with like sexism in the workplace, it's stories like this that perpetuate that norm that like girls can't lead. First of all, out of the three guys who get their leadership position, I think only one of them truly deserves it because only one of them actually knows what is going on. And then there's one other female character who studies medicine, so work. She is the only one who goes against the captain. I was all like, yes, fish like go for it but then at the end of it she also apologizes and basically says that she wasn't socialized properly and so you know she was out of line for me it was just really frustrating to see that of your three female characters one of them literally does not talk and I'm sure she'll have a sob story but she does not talk one of them is like in la la land most of the time like it's cute and funny and I'm glad that you get to go save her two times but and then the other one who has a bit of guts to her who actually will do something at the end of it a apologizes because she wants to take care of her younger sister. Even the guys who have more feminine type characteristics don't become the leaders. They are also in La La Land. So as much as I liked this volume, I don't know that I want to continue. Like it could have been really good. I really liked it and I've heard a lot of good things about it and I'm sure it gets even better. Why would they do me dirty like that? Anyways, the next one that I read is Erased. Essentially, it's about a guy who can travel back in time to prevent bad things happening. He doesn't necessarily know what the bad thing is, so he just kind of goes into this loop until he figures out what the bad thing is, and then he can move on with his life. So this one, in terms of tone, pace, it's a grittier, darker novel. I was getting Memento vibes, Death Note vibes, and I was also getting Crime and Punishment vibes. That feeling of not quite knowing what's going on until towards the end or until it all comes together. You kind of get that feeling while you're reading this. There's a lot of talk around death. There's a serial killer in this town. Overall, I actually really like this one. I think this one's way more plot driven as opposed to character driven. You're only introduced to about three characters here. But what I did like about this one is that the relationships between characters are a lot more subtle. They are just as intricate, if not more intricate, as the ones in Astra. But it's not like in your face. It's just like a more darker, slower paced read. And I definitely prefer this one. I will say they are very different both in genre tones like what they're trying to accomplish so if by virtue of the fact that you don't like one of the two genres you might prefer one over the other overall I thought that Erased was a lot better done probably in large part because of what the female characters didn't do in this one also for what it's worth both of them end on a cliffhanger this one I think a bit more of a compelling cliffhanger but they're both cliffhangers so if you're one of those people who can't stand cliffhangers have volume 2 ready before you go to read it in terms of artwork I think Astra's artwork is more fun to look at this is like a bit more you know I don't 
don't care about art. It's my message. That is it for me. I'll see you next time in my versus vlog. Bye!